and grow YouTube show. So speaking of air plants, I want to go to our next project because when I saw this photo in your book, it, my heart skipped a beat because <laughs> I, I feel like I cannot wait. So we're moving one more time, but I cannot wait to make this for my husband because he's, this is an air plant driftwood mm -hmm. piece. And my husband is a, well, he was born on Cape Cod. He's, I mean, he has salt water in his veins. He's such mm -hmm. a fish crazy. And so for his next office, I think this would be the coolest thing mm. to put in an office because it's this driftwood. I want to find a piece of driftwood from Cape Cod and put these lower maintenance, you know, air plants that I think I could trust him caring for at his office. And, um, just kind of, I just think it's the perfect Billy gift, but also I think a really beautiful statement piece. I mean, the way you guys designed it. So you want to describe it a little bit and kind of walk us through how you, how you work. Yeah, actually, I wish I had it, um, had one of them here. I, um, gave them, I gave them away as gifts after I was done with them because I had made so many for the book. Um, but exactly what you said, I mean, what makes this project cool is that, you know, as, as a family, we go to the river a lot or we go camping or, you know, fishing. And so the kids are always picking up really cool pieces of you know, like, they're always finding sticks. That's a big thing. I don't know if it's boys or just kids in general, but like always finding sticks. Um, and so finding a piece of driftwood and one of the things about this project for me, um, and also with the mounted uh, plant project, is that a lot of what we do in our home, we just redid our front yard with like a um, dry creek bed. A lot of the design, we live in the Pacific Northwest. So I really love, I mean, we have moss on everything here. Like moss grows everywhere and it's just like wild. And, you know, when you go camping, you, you can see these gorgeous, um, you know, pieces of wood or whatever it may be, rock even with moss and different plants growing on them. So I just like this project because it kind of allows us to mimic what we see in the outdoors here in the Pacific mm -hmm. Northwest and other areas also, um, and, and bring something, obviously we don't have air plants, um, here in the Northwest, but kind of use those to, to mimic like other plants that, that may grow. So yeah, for, um, for that project, we, I actually couldn't find a piece of driftwood, uh, before I talked to you, but I have this piece of, um, bark, Cause you can, you know, you can use anything. Mm -hmm. Um, and what's great about these too, is when you find a really unique piece, it allows you to kind of place plants, um, in a way that looks natural, like how they maybe would naturally grow. So this is a pretty simple project. You need some air plants, you need some moss. Um, I actually use here, we have preserved river moss which is um, responsibly um, harvested here in the Pacific Northwest. You can use um, sphagnum moss if you want. There, there's other things you can use. Um, but really, it's just kind of wrapping the moss around the base of the air plant because that's what's gonna, going to kind of hold any moisture you still have to, you know, water these guys. So you kind of just, we wrap the base of an air plant with, with moss, use some like fishing line uh, to connect the two. And then we just find cool, like this has a little, I'm using this piece of wood here. Uh, there's a little sort of, yeah, like a clamp in. Yeah. And so it's just like, kind of makes a perfect little home for that air plant. And so really what you're doing is you're taking a piece of driftwood or, or bark or something. You're wrapping the roots of the air plant in uh, moss, and then you're, you're tying it to um, the piece of wood. And you can also use, there are some glues, uh, we talk about it in the book, that you can use as well uh, that don't harm the plants. But uh, what you're doing is you're just kind of creating a look that feels natural and, and right. 
in the piece of wood. And so this is really fun. Like every piece turns out different. Like mm -hmm. there's not one that turns out exactly the same because every piece of wood is different. What I love about this project too, is you can either hang it on your wall or you can hang it from the ceiling um, and, and create, create it. So the plants are, you know, not just on one side of the wood, but they're just kind of all around. It's almost like a mobile or something. So, oh my God, imagine that being your kid's mobile. I know. <laughs> I think that could be such a cool fixture for a corner too. Like if you made three that are varied sizes and then hang them mm -hmm. at different lengths, like that would be such a cool kind of corner installation. And yes. you know, my book, Growing Joy, talks all about how we can make restorative plant nooks in our mm -hmm. home to do some of the Growing Joy practices that we talk about. And I could totally see like having these beautiful pieces of natural driftwood and air plants. <laughs> 